In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly calculate a stockpile volumetric. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, so here we are into a project that has a beautiful stockpile in it. I've already have a volumetric calculated here just to show you what our end result is going to look like today. But let's go into set, seeing how we do this. So I'm going to come over here to this other mound. I'm going to click on the second icon here on the right hand side, the stockpile analysis. And let's just go ahead and, first of all, which one is this one? That's stockpile two. I'm gonna just remove that. Let's add a new one. And we can just click around the perimeter here. Double click, right click to come out. All right. And then if I hold shift and click, that'll add a point in between that bisects those. So I can hold shift. Again, hold shift and click, adds two more, boom, boom. Hold shift and click. Look at that. So we can get real fine in there if we want. Once we've done that, let's bring that in. Just want to get the base of this. Once we feel satisfied with our, our perimeter that we have captured there of the stockpile we want to catch, capture the volume of, I feel good at that. Let's do a we can select what the base surface is. Either it's the best fit of all these points I've drawn. So it's the best fit in the vertical of the surface, the so flat plane, or it's gonna be the lowest one minimum, or it's gonna be the highest one maximum. So let's do best fit. It actually does a 10 model, best fit. Not a flat plane, it'll do a 10 of all those points. Uh, we can limit the classification. This is not classified, but if it was, uh, say you had some trees that are overhanging and this was getting captioned there, well, you can just classify the ground as ground and then only use ground. See what I'm saying? Uh, it's an easy way to clean it up. We can do the accuracy um, as much as we want or as little and just click calculate. And there you go. That is a 3D surface of volume. You can see the surface there at the bottom of that and the stockpile. And here we have the elevation max, min, perimeter, the 2D, 3D perimeter value, as well as the area. And the most important thing we wanna see is that cut and that fill and the difference between the two. So that is how you do a stockpile volumetric in the Rock Cloud. It's really fast, really easy. You can save this and you can share it with anyone and they'll see those numbers as well. All right, hope you learned this and I'll see you on the next one.